gather here from all around the world. Expectations are high. They must be fulfilled. Dana Cup Euring, a goal for soccer playing youngsters from north so and south, east and west. They dream of standing in the center of the winner's podium when the week, the last week in July, is over. Year after year, they come to Yoring to take part. Those who once were players are now involved as leaders and trainers. Young people from 45 nations, 20,000 soccer players, well around 1,100 teams, girls and boys aged between 10 and 19, and their leaders take over more than 65 lovely grass green pitches in the north of Denmark. Selamat datang ke Dana Cup. Bienvenidos a la Copa Dana Cup. Velkommen til Dana Cup. Velkommen til Dana Cup. Velkommen til Dana Cup. Ahla Dana Cup. Aqua ba Dana Cup. Welcome to Dana Cup. Welcome to Dana Cup. Immediately upon their arrival at the Dana Cup, the throngs of young people are in good hands. Experienced leaders look after the guests as well. Most of them are accommodated in local schools. Here, classrooms, gym halls, and assembly rooms are cleared out to make way for them. And it is from here, life will emanate for the next five days. Soccer is the main priority when it comes to the Dana Cup but the social contact is also of great value. This is also where they will sleep and relax before it all kicks off on the soccer pitch. Breakfast is served at the school. It gives the youngsters strength when they need energy to work their way through the numerous matches of the week. Dana Cup's buses are now ready to transport the teams around the area. Most of the playing fields are within the Dana Cup Center area. Some fields are found just a short distance from the center area, no more than 15 kilometers from the center. 20 minutes drive. Dana Cup's effective bus system makes sure the players arrive in good time. Now it will be proven whether the training at home has been sufficient to help them make it all the way to the winner's podium. Matches will be played on 65 pitches in teams of both 11 and 7 players, and the first matches are played in groups of 4 or 5 teams. The best teams go forward to the A Finals, and the others continue in the B Finals. The youngsters know the rules from home. The matches in the Dana Cup are played in accordance with international rules, slightly adapted to make it even more fun to be involved. There is no doubt whatsoever that the large cup is the goal, and they will fight with all they have to win it. The benefit of the countless matches in terms of sport will be even greater when the matches have competent referees. Dana Cup in Euring has numerous well-qualified referees from all over the world at its disposal. The results are also closely monitored. By Wednesday evening, there is an overview of which teams will continue to the A Finals and which will go on to the B Finals. Using smartphones, iPads, and PCs, it is possible to keep abreast of the proceedings. There is free wireless internet access throughout the entire Dana Cup area. No one should be in any doubt as to the results, pitch locations, bus times, meal times, and so on. The Dana Cup app is free and in your hand. With 20,000 young people on the soccer pitches, it is impossible to avoid injuries. When they occur, Dana Cup's mash tent is ready. Uniquely, Dana Cup is offering free massage to aching and overstrained muscles. Between matches, there is an opportunity to get to know other young people from all over the world. A chit-chat, frivolity, and games, there is ample opportunity for all of that in the Dana Cup event zone. Here, you can try out your creativity, compete in competitions, and develop your soccer skills. I think the highlights for me have been uh, meeting new people because there's many different people here from 
different countries around the world. I think be here with my friends and win and lose with my friends. Play soccer with our team, to be together. This is my first year here and uh, we won the first game ever and that's a really good. We uh, did a good at the field. I think it's uh, very good food here. Very and good I, food. Yes. And I also love playing with uh, different people from other countries. The football, but also the girls and uh, being at the beach. <laughs> and meet the boys. <laughs> The Dana Cup is known the world over for its kitchen, which every day serves tasty and nutritious meals at lunchtime and in the evening. The menu has been put together by dietitians so that the young ones get the proper diet. And of course, that is crucial when peak performances are required on the soccer pitch. A refreshing experience at Yoring's large water park is another option. Many participants take a break from the pitches to go swimming. 15 kilometers away from the Dana Cup Center and the swimming pool, it is possible to take a really bracing dip in the sea. It's a lovely sand here and, and the waves are huge and it's just, just so fantastic. This is something that participants who have chosen accommodation in hotels really enjoy. One of the local attractions is Ferry Center Fierkleet in Herschel's, 15 kilometers from the Dana Cup Center. The cabins in the central area are another accommodation option for the Dana Cup's guests. Residents here are close to all the events and can enjoy both soccer and life in the cabin village. We are uh, four persons who live uh, in here. Uh, two others sleep in here. The coast offers more experiences. The North Sea Oceanarium is located in Herschel's. One of Europe's largest seawater oceanariums brings the mysteries of the ocean and marine life up to the surface. Fair of Summerland is an experience like no other, an amusement park with space for games and fun for big and small. The last week in July is also the week in which the shopping streets and the Metropolitan Center in the host town of Yering is filled with life. Shopping in the large tents with sports and leisure clothing in the central Dana Cup zone are also part of the week's experiences. And then, of course, there has to be surplus energy for when Dana Cup's alcohol-free disco booms out in the evenings. In combination with a more traditional fun fair, this is the perfect cocktail. There are also traditions for the numerous leaders, and these are a little less boisterous. In the Fiber Holland, in the middle of the Dana Cup zone, leaders and trainers enjoy a welcome dinner and entertainment on the Tuesday evening. But back to the soccer. The finals are played on Friday and Saturday. It is here that the battles for the major trophies and medals are fought. It is great when the cup is held aloft and the players are hailed by the spectators. It's not just for the winners that it is a big thing. Everyone who participates achieves a small victory and everyone goes home with memories of lots of soccer, great friendships and new experiences. Dana Cup winds up but the world's most international football tournament for youth soccer teams will come around again, year after year. We'll be part of it again next year and for many years to come. The Dana Cup in Yuring, every year, the last week in July.